Now it is that time again to see more open homes with Josephine Kinsella from Mike Perro Real Estate. What have you got to show us today, Josephine? What's the theme we're going with? Well, we're going for a bang for your buck and getting good value out of the property market at the moment. So we've selected some properties from around the country, bit of everything for everyone, and um, yeah, hopefully it'll be to your liking. But a good value. Okay, let's start with Glen Eden. So Glen Eden, we had this 1960s home, and look, it's not pretty as a picture. It's pretty much a block of land that's a great buy in the middle of Glen Eden. What's great about this is there's room for development. So you've got uh, 1,166 square metres of land, which um, potentially can be further um, subdivided, um, subject to consents, of course. The house itself is a really solid build. So with three bedrooms, you've got a 1960s property, uh, and for around the 650, this is a location that is perfect for that first home buyer, the investor, um, or like I say, if you're land banking and want to subdivide it, there's the section. Look you can the size put a couple of, of houses on there. And uh, you know, it's a great buy, great location. Calston Boys um, High is, uh, is the school zone there for the boys. And um, you know, in terms of you know, shops and things like that, it's just prime location. And it's not far out, you know, Glen Eden is not far out of not the far CBD far. anymore. It's good no, it's, it's good to get to the beaches too from Glen Eden as well. So yes, yeah, some heaps of uh, positives for that one. Okay, let's head to Papakura now in Auckland. What have you got there? So this one is a, a bit of a sparkler. It's um, four bedrooms. And the thing I like about this is it's a really immaculate presentation property so it's got a nice front yard it's got lots of paving for parking it's got internal garage access and it, it has room to improve of course so um, it has been had an interior renovation so it's been um, you know tastefully renovated and for again for this entry into Auckland you're looking at 669,000 for this property it's a four bedroom home in Auckland walking distance to schools and to the train station so if you work in town it's perfect um, you know, it's just a great buy, and again, room for more in improvements. And uh, in oh, Auckland, and a good man cave. Good man cave, mm. and and in Auckland, it is well under that million dollar price tag. Gosh, and that really is quite something in Auckland. Uh, let's head to Christchurch. So Christchurch, I love this property. So uh, over offers over four hundred and seventy five thousand. Um, this is uh, what we call a, a family pet friendly property with three bedrooms. It's delightfully presented. It's well, um, you know, it's well established with its um, shrubberies and it's delightfully presented. It's uh, just a great buy. Um, stylish modern interior, uh, you've got a nice little uh, deck area there and it's it's just got really good indoor outdoor flow. And in an area like Belfast, um, again, the schoolings, um, the schools are great. It's close to uh, the um, Northwood shops. Um, and Belfast Primary, so location is really key, and at that price point of, um, of around that 475 mark. Wow, that's incredible. Yep. yep, that is a lot of house for that money. Okay, let's head back to Auckland now. We're going to Highland Park. So Highland Park, for those that don't know where Highland Park is, it's a suburb of East Auckland, um, near Botany and near Howick. This is uh, your classic sort of 1980s home, and it is prime position. So this is literally two minutes walk to the gym, to the, the swimming pools, to the uh, supermarkets, to the bus. Um, Pakaranga College is the schooling for this area and at a price match of around the mid 700s, this is exceptional buying for this area. Properties around this area are usually in the million dollar mark. So, you know, this is a typical three bedroom home. It's it's very stock standard, but if you're getting on the property ladder, this is perfect for that young couple or perhaps a, the single investor that just wants to get on the property ladder in a great location. Mm. Let's head a little bit further north now to Whangarei. Whangarei, so um, Far Valley and um, Kano Road is, is just great buying at 350,000. Uh, this is just a beautiful, uh, well could be a beautiful uh, property. It needs a bit of love, bit of attention, but it is, you know, it's got the really good bones nice to floors. it. Nice floors. Nice floors, that's why I say it's got the good <laughs> bones to it. Um, I'm not sure about what the framing is behind those walls, but I imagine it's pretty solid. And the backyard, I mean, who wouldn't want mm, to have one of those lovely established backyards? You've got a, a separate garage there, and you know you can turn that into a man cave as well if you want. Yep. Um, but or a lady cave. Or a lady cave, <laughs> whatever you want. What for the shoes? Everyone needs a place. Oh, Pool table. <laughs> <laughs> Dartboard, buddy. Um, you know, you're just going to go into these properties with a bit of vision and also think, we well, you know, what can I do to make this, a, if you, it's an investment. Um, you know, Kama's uh, been a great area for investment and whangarei has been a great area for um, investment. And uh, this is no different with a price match around 350. 
Yeah, it looks solid as. OK, one more to get through, and that is Marlborough. We're heading to Picton and Marlborough this time. Picton. I, um, I, I don't know when the last time you went to Picton, but it's quite a special little place. Um, great point of destination for those that like to get out of uh, the central cities, you know, Wellington, Auckland. Um, and price point on this inquiry is over 419 This property has all-day sunshine, million-dollar views. Again, it's a tidy three-bedroom property that just has something that's really quite special. Whether this is your holiday home, which would make a gorgeous holiday home, or um, perhaps an investment or first home buyers. It's really good buying for this area. It's very close um, to amenities and you've got 609 square metres of land and um, room for more. If you want to uh, develop underneath the property, there's, there's room to do that. Um, so um, you just need to apply for the consents and look at the costings, it's all there. I know, I would just sit on that deck and watch the weather roll in and out all day, I Me think. Yeah. You have to get one of those spy glasses so you can look at what was going yeah. on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it's fascinating, Picton. The harbour's a really fascinating yeah. harbour. Nice work. A telescope, that's what I was trying to say. A spy guard, like a pirate. <laughs> Thanks, Josephine. Really good to see you. For more on those properties, you can go to mikepiero.com.